guys and these are second video on android ui design uh, these are multi-part series as, as i've told you in the previous video so if you haven't watched that previous video please do watch that and then because it's a continue of that first video so, so yeah so uh, you all must have got an idea about the what means what's the topic of this video so this video will be based on vertical text view and how we can use it because in high ui design you can see there's a vertical text view in this popular fluorence suggested so now we will be implementing and creating the vertical text view from scratch so let's get started so as you can see so i've also uh, run an app R. so you can see so we have now this selection and this uh, vertical text view uh, sorry it's it's a normal text view so now we need to implement it in a way that it looks exactly like this so without wasting any time let's get started so yeah, this is this, this is the, our item layout so what we'll do is we'll create a package where we will be putting all our custom views there i'll create a, another view which is, i'll be calling it vertical text view okay so now so as we need a text view so what we'll do is we'll extend it with app compact text view so why we are um, extending op app compact text view instead of text view because app compact text view is also uh, backing the previous version of android so it supports all the versions so if you use app compact text view it will support on pre previous version also pre lollipop something like that so that's why we need to implement that now okay so we need to pass few things to this app compact text view class so that it can just create a basic layout for us uh, so yeah so we need to create some constructor which will be having context context and we'll pass it to super 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 means uh, the class app compact text view so we'll pass that context to the super class so why do we need this class so why do we need this class so will we uh, to you by using this constructor what we can do is wait sorry so using this class uh, this constructor is useful to create a uh, create a view create a vertical text view which is like text view so we'll use this context to create this view now the other another constructor what we we'll do is just copy and paste it and just add another so it is called attribute set we'll pass that also so what is attribute set so attribute set is used for like uh, so if so if you if you know that this is this is a text view and there are certain fields like layout width layout height text text color text size and it has its own purpose so by using attributes you can pass your attributes from this uh, using this attribute set or you can also provide your uh, provide your external or provide a custom custom like uh, attributes uh, to this view so using these attributes you can you so if if you have any attribute any other attribute to use so what you can do is just create a just uh, use this constructor create your attribute set and give it to the super so yeah that will work so now we need to pass another which is for default style so what's the use of this default style so so let me explain you that so so whenever you extend app compact text with app, app compact text view has its own view right so whenever you use directly app compact text view there are certain things that will be added automatically it will have few it will have box it will have other functionalities like you can um, means tags tag size font family etc etc and uh, to render all of this there, there will be a default a ui which 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 will be supporting this uh, I mean style so what uh, by default style it will me it, it means that if you provide in default style it will be provided to all the child views right uh, right so that's the use of default style so you not give the same ui uh, same style to different different views whenever you're using so by using default it will apply that default style to uh, every other views 
right so so yeah so first of all whenever it comes to think about that uh, uh, how we use i mean how we will going to be this vertical tax view so so first first and first um, first of all you will be you will have an idea about like i think you if you if you use rotation it will automatically rotate the view and our work is done so let's let's try that so i'll give a rotation of like minus 90 so why i am giving giving nine, minus 90 is so let, let's say so this is a view so let's consider this view this bright crystal so it's a horizontal view now consider it as a box right if you consider it as a box and if you put it uh, put an origin uh, in the center and if you try to like uh, rotate this view in a 90 degree so what will it do it will it will rotate that view in 90 degree in clockwise manner so whenever you you will implement it in clockwise clockwise manner so bright crystal will be start from from top to top to bottom so it its uh, rendering will be top to bottom so you will start bright upstairs um, means up uh, in the top you will find bright and then it will print crystal but if you use counterclockwise or if you use minus 90 so it will rotate the view in counterclockwise manner and by using that uh, your bright bright will be in the bottom and crystal in the top portion so so actually we need that so that's why we are using minus 90 so if you have any doubt you can comment down below we'll cover it in the cover cover it in next video or i'll try to explain in the comment also that's not an issue or i can also mail you to if you do not understand it. so you can mail you also this that's there so let me run this app okay so it's run okay so you can see so it doesn't look that well but it's it's vertically aligned it's the, this is the way how we want it it but it's like in two lines it's uh taking some much more space but we need like we have plenty of space to put it in a single line right we do not need but but it's it's kind of look good it it kind of worked right but you can see that there is a there's an issue with flow this issue with this popular also so what can be the issue so so just uh look at the height and width of the view before rotation and after rotation so i'll i'll again remove it i'll run it again so you observed that uh, uh the like this rotated views height and width and now this is a normal so you can see this so uh observe this now and let me run it with the and we can compare it so if you compare it you will see that So you will see that that popular and suggested the both had had two lines in horizontal horizontal means the normal text view also, but in this vertical in this vertical text means by after applying the rotation you can see it is it is having some some kind of uh, height and width so width we have width so we have sufficient width, but height is somewhat that floor floor is lack of the floor is lack of height, so so what what happens is the whenever view renders it what it is doing is whenever it rotate but it doesn't change so when we rotate this text so it it means it rotate its, its text uh, sorry text right but it doesn't change its height and width so for that we need to create a custom view in that world what, what we'll do is we'll give its width as its height its height as its width so that's what we will going to be de uh, do sorry and for that what we'll need to do is we'll need to override this method on measure and and we'll also give set measure dimension so now as we need to like give so for that we need to like as i said width to height and white so what we'll do is copy this and paste it here and here and same so what we'll do is we'll give it height uh, height and width now if you go to its parameters like a measured width and measured height right um, let me check sorry measure we need will need to pass measured height and measured width right so 
so yeah so i think that's there and and yeah so now so so the other thing is so as we have overrided this uh, on measure method and we have changed a lot of things so we have like overrided its height and width also and we have given a uh, like width as its height and height as its width so we need to draw we need to redraw the view right so for that we need we need to over override on draw method where will be given this canvas so what we'll do is so for that we need to paint text so for the text we need to use text paint so what we'll do is we'll create text paint we'll get we'll get paint so paint is already there because it uh, because text view also is painting by default something so there is so it's it's from the text view class so what we'll do is now so it's done so so one thing that we need to do is we need to get its color as uh, so whatever color we provide in the view like in xml set if we provide from here i think we already provided this black so so we need we need this paint to use i mean whenever we're drawing we need to use uh, we need it to use uh, that color so what we'll do is current text color right so now i think a major part of is major part is done so what we'll do is like save the canvas canvas dot save so now canvas is saved so so now there is a this so what we'll do is so canvas is saved we have printed the text right but there is other there other thing left we need to means what we need to do is we need to like rotate the canvas and then we need to write so for rotation what we can do is we can use canvas dot translate so we need to like uh, we need to uh, rotate the view right and we need to change it by its height and not the I means not horizontal we need to vertically so we, what we'll do is uh, translate will be on zero and for that we'll use its height height dot to slot right and now what we'll do is give it a rotation rotation as i said we'll be using nine minus 90 and now the last thing is restore so so you might not be able to understand why we have what is the use of this canvas dot save and canvas dot restore so there are few things so canvas dot so if you if you are from computer background if you are not if you have known the concept of stack so what does it mean that whenever you save the canvas it will put that stake uh, put that canvas object into the stack right and whenever you call restore it will back it will uh, pop that uh, last saved state and use that in the layout so so what i what are we doing here is so we will took sorry my bad okay yeah text paint dot color color text color sorry uh and the other thing is yeah so let me complete this so so what does the rest will do whenever you so where so what we did is so these are let's see these are canvas then what will we uh, after saving what we did is we rotated it and then write text on that right but now but now what we what we need to show to the user is the current text i mean sorry current canvas right so which we have saved earlier so what we'll do is we'll restore that canvas and we'll pop that the last saved state in the view and we'll able to see it correctly so let's run it and let's see what happens oh i think i forgot something so before restore we need to also like give this canvas canvas yeah so let's run it again so if you have any question any issue if you are not able to understand anything do let me know in comment or you can mail me also right so let's see how it looks so i think oh it won't because we have not used the vertical text view as, as of now so first use vertical text view uh, rotation we have already given so we need not not we need not 
sorry we don't need it here sorry the other thing is we have given this vertical here but here we need horizontal horizontal so what we'll do is instead of orientation vertical we'll use horizontal let's run it again so yeah you can see it's working fine there's some spacing and stuff that we that we can do yeah you can do by yourself but still if you want need to then what i'll do is i'll give margin start like 10 stp and same here i'll do that mm, i think 10 will be too much like i'll settle for five but let's see how it looks okay so it looks good and this is something that you can do by your own as well so it doesn't need me to do it but for the sake of you i will such good to use now the so does it like the is it a good ui or ux because whenever you use this kind of stuff not all the user will be able to like read it thoroughly from using this like uh, vertical text so it might not be a good ui, UI ux means not user good us user experience but for the sake of implementing it we have used this in here but um, it might be that that it doesn't uh, fit well in this scenario particular scenario but we, there there will be many other tasks or there will be many other situation that vertical text um, we might need vertical text you know, for that we have implemented this and i hope you understood understood everything and if you haven't you can always mention me in the comment always comment down below or you can mail me so guys thanks for watching